Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of July 6th through the 12th, okay? Keep in mind, not every reading is for you, okay? And what you need to do is just take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to do a you and the other person spread this time. Uh, so I say that this is your side and this is the other person's side. That's the way I do it. You choose. You decide. Use your own judgment. Whatever. This could be your side. I'm going to say this side because that's the way I do it. This card right here is going to be the overall energy. Okay. So we're just going to see what comes up. July 6th through the 12th for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Overall energy, please. What do we have? What do we have? Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is trapped. Somebody is trapped. They're blind. They've got a blindfold on. They're not. They're refusing to see the truth. This person could reach up and grab that blindfold and take it off, but they're choosing not to. So somebody's wearing a blindfold and they're choosing to do so. Okay, they're choosing to be trapped, they're choosing to be stuck, they're choosing not to see. Somebody is in a state of denial, they're staying in a situation that is confining them. Okay, this is a mental conflict, mental turmoil, uh, thinking it's it's okay, but it's not okay. Okay, you, you, this is an individual that, this is the overall energy of being stuck. Okay, mentally stuck, mentally trapped in a situation that really isn't healthy. So somebody is, is in a situation that isn't healthy, okay? And it's a mental thing, okay? It's a mental thing. So let's start over here. So for Scorpio, ooh, we get the Four of Cups. Thinking about it. Temperance Reverse. This is very unhealthy with Temperance Reverse. You are, this could be some sort of obsession, Okay, this is uh, mood swings, frustrated, emotionally unstable, uh, inconsistency, going overboard, uh, trying to do too much, needing to, to uh, be careful because you're going overboard, something is off, you need to really re-examine what it is that you're thinking. This is thinking, this is thinking, this is re-examine, there's negative... Uh, patterns here. This is engaging in negative patterns. I think that you know that something doesn't feel right and you're really thinking about it, but you're ignoring it. Okay. There's, there's something that you are ignoring here. Okay. You can't stop ignoring it. Okay. This is an imbalance. Okay. And I think that you're, you're trying to analyze, right? You're over analyzing and, it, and you may be feeling sick. You may, maybe you're feeling sick to your stomach even or something like that because something just doesn't feel right, but you're choosing not to see it. It's like you're just pushing it down. You're pushing it down. I'm just going to pretend that everything is okay. Okay, I'm just going to, this is, you know, you know it's not healthy. Okay, this is inappropriate behavior right here. This is also refusing to evolve, you know, staying in a situation. This is a mental prison. Okay, this is like prison right here. Oh my God. And that is literally an oh my God. Being haunted. I think that you're really, 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 really struggling. Right? You are. And that's in your position. But there's denial here. Okay, so there's denial. So some of you are, oh no, 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 I'm not. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Are you worried? You're worried about something? This is engaging in negative patterns, you know. There's something that is really, really plaguing you, right? You're really, really worried. What's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? Your gut is telling you that something is not right. And you need to be listening to your gut. The reason things are so crazy, or you're feeling like this is crazy, is because it is crazy, Okay, there's a, there's there's uh, some serious self healing that is needed as well, and it, I mean temperance comes after death. Something has ended, or something. There's been a change in your life, okay, and you have been resistance resistant, or yeah, to let it go, okay. Or there's an ending that is needed, and you're refusing to let it end, 
okay? This is staying in a very unhealthy situation where you are bound. You're allowing yourself to be bound. This is weakness right here, the temperance reversed. It really is. If you can't find the strength to let something go that has died, which it has because this comes after the death card, whether you've left it or not, which it appears that you haven't. And even if you have left it physically, you haven't left it mentally. If you haven't left it, then you haven't evolved. You haven't changed. You're still frustrated. You're still suffering. You need to release it. Okay, this is not healthy. It's not healthy to hold on to something that isn't uh, reciprocating. And I think that you're starting to realize because there's probably another opportunity for you because that's what this would suggest. That there's another opportunity that you're thinking about but, you're, but you've are but you been focusing on somebody that you parted ways with perhaps or that you need to part ways with. This is very discontent. Thinking a lot. Thinking a lot about love. Thinking about a lot about self-love as well. But still trapped. You're still trapped in your mind. You're still not thinking clearly because you got that blindfold on right you're wearing a blindfold you need to take the blindfold off and you need to open your eyes and you need to untie yourself from this situation that is causing you so much grief and pain and despair you know you're you're um restricting yourself to somebody that has complete power over you they are in complete control over you obviously Anyway, let's talk about the other person. Page of Swords. Hanged Man. And the Three of Cups. So some of you may be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You may be the Sag you may have Sagittarius in your chart. We could be dealing with uh, somebody that is very immature. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces. Um, but this person is childish, okay? This They're childish. I, for me, I feel like a lot of you are dealing with Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. Because when I was shuffling, I thought Pisces, right before I even laid out any cards. So some of you are dealing with a Pisces, so I don't I don't know, if they or they have Pisces in their chart. But I think that you know something is off. You do know something is off. This person um, Maybe involved in a third party situation and I think that they they uh, Are struggling to let go of you. They're struggling to let go of you for some reason Maybe you're the third party or the other person is the third party. They're de there's definitely a third party here And I think that you know it, but I think that you're in denial um, I do I do I do I do I do you may be thinking that you can persuade this person to come your way, you know you're letting this person control you. But anyhow, whoever you are dealing with is definitely very immature and very childish. Um, I think that they're trying too hard. They're trying too hard to hide something. They are definitely, these are both hiding something. You are definitely dealing with somebody that is hiding something. Something to do with a pillow. Something to do with a pillow. You might want to... Something to do with a pillow. I don't know what that means. Could You may be able to find some earrings or something like that. I don't know why, where that's coming from. Um, interesting. They may have given some earrings to somebody. Whoever you're dealing with. They may have given a gift of earrings to somebody. Bought in somebody a gift. Anyhow, whoever they're dealing with, they may be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. That Somebody that is younger than them. Whoever you're asking about. Whoever you are, whoever the other person is that you are asking about. I feel like they're dealing with a third party. This person is younger than them, and they may have given them a gift. Anyway, um, this, this hangman, this hangman is... Uh, learning some kind of a lesson. You need to learn a lesson. This person teaching you a lesson. They are. They're teaching you a lesson. They're teaching you a lesson about following your gut, following your intuition, which you have been ignoring. They are definitely teaching you a lesson. Whoever you are, are dealing with, um, it, 
It has a big ego. This is definitely a big ego. They 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 have a victim mentality. They see themselves as a victim. They may be trying. They are teaching you a lesson for sure. This person is going to teach you a lesson. Oh my God! Judgment, poor judgment. You are making a poor judgment call. You are completely unaware. This person, whoever is on this side, isn't telling you the truth. They're hiding something from you. They are. They they are. They're hiding something from you. And you don't even see it. This is a this is a, a message that of conflict that it will be coming. You need to really be careful. You may, you may, this is like, don't do not, don't assume that everything is, is peachy because it's not. You may be assuming that it is, but it's not. This, this is their secrets. There is some serious secrets. Somebody is keeping secrets from you. Three of cups, three of cups. That's, this is a celebration, a party, socialized, could be social media. They may be, they may have met somebody or reconnected with reconnection with somebody on social media. Ooh, five of cups. This is this is a grieving, separation, regrets, and this is feeling ashamed. Whoever you're dealing with does have uh, regrets. They have regrets, and they feel ashamed. They feel ashamed for what what they've done, and they know that they have done something wrong. You may even you, they could get find out found out. They may be apologizing to you. They may be apologize. You may find them out, and you may be getting a, an apology from them. There is definitely some sort of sadness here, some sort of regrets over something. This Three of Cups is socializing. There's been some, and this is, are you ready to be judged? This is the truth coming out. So some, some, some sort of truth is going to come out about this person, which is going to bring about a conflict. They've been hiding something. And it could be the third party, because the third party that is hurt because, you know, they get rejected. They don't, they don't get the chance. They, they get rejected and this third party could be the one that communicates. That's what I think is going to happen too. So I don't know if that's going to happen for all of you. But the, whoever you are dealing with is uh, struggling with a third party. They are. And I think that there's some sort of rejection here that brings this person out of the woodwork. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy. Oh, that's a permanent loss. The tower reverse. This is painful. Extremely painful. The tower reverse is extremes. Okay, it's not avoiding. Okay, it's not avoiding. It's extremes. There's there's there could be a huge fight. This could be a very uh this is a rude awakening. This is absolutely a rude awakening. And, and it's extremely, it's going to cause extreme upheaval, chaos. Be prepared for light to be shed on a situation, on a false foundation that really can't be fixed. You may have uh, been trying to be, be build a false foundation with somebody wearing a blindfold. You know, choosing not to see who they really were. Choosing not to uh, accept. Okay? Choosing not to accept. You are choosing not to accept their fakeness, their falseness, their, their, uh, well, it's false, okay, who they were. This person brought you a false sense of security. And I think that something, you are going to receive a message from somebody. And it could be over the internet. You know, it could be over Facebook or something like that. This is, that is, uh, gives you some sort of information about whoever it is that you've been hanging on to that causes you to feel some sort of uh, pain. Okay, this is five of cups is pain. That's grieving. That's loss. And this is a permanent loss. Okay, it is a permanent loss. You can't you can't rebuild this. You ha it's time to go someplace else. 
So let's go over here. And I think that your gut has been telling you. Your gut has been telling you that whoever you're dealing with has been, you know, flirting with somebody else or socializing with somebody else or whatever. And you've been ignoring it. Ten of Swords. Yeah, I think that you've been extremely stressed out. I feel like you've, you've reached the point of giving up. I feel like somebody uh, has gone as low as they can go. They can go and it's over and you know it and it's goodbye. And I think that, that uh, you know, there's something that is going to happen that is, you know, this is it. This is it. It's like I, this is so unbalanced. This is this is so crazy. You know, this, this hurts so bad that, you know, it's time for me to love myself and go and go. You know, this is too much. It really is. Oh, God, this is an injustice. This isn't fair. And you may be saying those words. I can't believe this. Why did you lie to me? Why did you... Somebody... And you've been in denial. Okay? You have been in denial. I feel like there's something that is not going in your favor. I think you're not going to be happy with the outcome. I think that there's going to be an argument with no resolution in sight because whoever you are dealing with is socializing with another person and you've been in denial pretending not to see it and the fact of matter is is that it's an absolute fact okay it's a fact all right so be prepared for anything uh expect the unexpected with that reverse for tower this is an extremely unhealthy situation where there's probably going to be a fight that uh causes some major upheaval at home okay um and cause and 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 you know causes some distress okay it causes you to uh take reach up and take that blindfold off okay you're going to be moving on you're going to be moving in a new direction this is a transition this is taking a journey moving away you are going to be moving away from a situation in which there was no balance there was lies there was secrets there was upheaval upheaval there was chaos um somebody was hiding something from you and the truth is going to come out be prepared for uh to hear some shocking information from uh whoever this person probably has been dealing with or you find out the information you may you may uh somehow you're going to find out i think somebody's going to tell you good luck <laughs>